Welcome along guys. Well today is embargo lifting day and you're going to see a whole host of videos from various biking channels today all about the brand new Triumph Trident. Finally we have detailed information about this bike. We have pictures, we have specs, we have everything you want to know. Stick around, stay tuned and take a look at this. Ooh. Now that looks pretty nice, I think you agree. So let's dive in and get into the specs of this machine. So the bike has a 660 triple engine, a similar engine to what's found in the Street Triple S, the A2 friendly Street Triple, but this one has 67 new components. Power from the engine de-restricted, it makes 80 horsepower at 10,250 RPMs with 64 Newton meters of torque. So it's a punchy engine, but it's actually slightly down on power compared to the version in the Street Triple, but it's been tuned for more mid-range. 90% of the peak torque is available across the entire rev range, so you can be guaranteed it's going to have a lot of torque, a lot of initial power when you open the throttle, and quite a punchy top end. So I think it's going to be a beautiful engine. Revving to 10, over 10,000 revs should give it some legs, and you know it's going to sound sweet with that triple soundtrack. So I think the engine is going to be beautiful. It's also, of course, going to be A2 license compatible. There's some accessories whereby you get a throttle grip, which has a reduced movement, and there's a specific A2 map which goes on to the bike as well. In A2 form, it makes 47 PS at 8,700 revs and 51 Newton meters of torque. Triumph say the rider will experience the perfect balance of low down torque, mid range and top end power with the triple signature smooth, responsive, linear delivery. The result is an engine which has been designed to combine low down and mid range of a twin with the top end performance of a four cylinder engine to deliver major performance advantages. Power! The bike has a six speed gearbox, obviously, uh, with the slipper clutch as well. So it's quite nice they've included a slipper clutch on this. It also has an optional quick shifter and a blipper. So you can add a quick shifter and a blipper to this as an option. No idea on prices on that just yet, but with a bit of blipping and quick shifter action, should be lovely. Suspension. It's got Showa big piston forks, upside down forks, but these are non-adjustable versions, but certainly a big improvement of some of the competition. We'll come on to some comparisons with this bike's main competition in a little while. The rear shock is also a Showa unit, which is adjustable for preload. And of course, you're gonna have that chassis. This chassis has been designed to handle. So I think this bike is gonna be an exceptionally well handling machine, which some of its competitors maybe aren't. 120 millimeters of travel on the front wheel with the upside down showers and as I say preload adjustment on the rear. Handling is improved with Michelin Road 5 tyres so you've got decent rubber fitted on this as standard. The Trident 660 combines triple engine performance, pure minimalistic lines and class leading technology to deliver a pure riding pleasure. Braking is provided by Nissan. Now this has got the same braking setup as the Street Triple S. So it's got the dual Nissan two pot calipers up front with a 310 millimeter disc. As the bike is quite light at only 189 kilos wet, that braking should be more than enough to haul it up. The bike is actually slightly lighter than the Street Triple S. So it is a lighter weight bike than the Street Triple with the same brakes, stopping should be as easy as it is to go. The bike also has a bit of tech. It's got a brand new clock display, which is white on black LCD with also a TFT included. 
It's going to have two, or it has got two riding modes, road and rain, switchable traction control, so you can turn off the traction control for some wheelie hoonage, Robo wire throttle, of course, LED lighting all round. There's also the option for the Bluetooth module. So you can do the My Triumph connectivity and that can then give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation, all of those additional features. The option to connect to a GoPro to stop and start recording with the GoPro from the switch gear, quite nice. And all of that other lovely connectivity options which you get with Bluetooth. Triumph say it's got a sporty, agile and dynamic confidence to the riding experience. So I presume they mean it's really very well handling bike, very well set up. It's also got an 805 millimeter seat height. So it's quite a low bike. So they really are aiming this bike to meet everyone's needs. Triumph say the setup is specifically designed to set a new benchmark for handling. The Trident delivers confidence inspiring agile and it's fun to ride with a light steering, low seat height and slim width, combining with a wet weight of just 189 kilos and a new tubular steel chassis, an ergonomic setup designed to suit both experienced and new riders. So they really are targeting this not only for, for, as a bike for new riders, but also for experienced riders. The Trident's riding position has been designed to feel comfortable, but also engaging for the rider. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's got a similar riding position to the Street Triple. So maybe a little bit of weight on the wrist, quite a feet back a little bit, quite a sporty ride. The Trident features full LED lighting, so you've got LED headlights, LED tail lights, LED indicators, and you can also add in the, the optional scrolling LED indicators which Triumph provide, which look really nice. The bike actually has 45 different accessories, so you can still customize. A big thing about Triumphs is you can actually customize them, so they've included already 45 dedicated accessories for this bike, so you can really can make this bike your own. The bike's got a 14 litre fuel tank, so it should be able to get a reasonable range out of it with the Triumph signature knee cutouts, lightweight cast aluminium five spoke wheels. It's looking actually very nice. Triumph have got big hopes for this machine. They really want to capture that new market. So, so people coming into riding on an A2 license can start on this bike and when they pass their test, it can be de-restricted. And I think with 80 brake or horsepower, it's going to be fun for experienced riders as well. And hopefully it should wheelie, it will handle. It should tick a lot of boxes for a lot of people. Four colours are available. You've got the Silver Ice and Diablo Red, which I think is rather nice. There's also a Matte Jet Black with Matte Silver Ice, a Crystal White version and a Sapphire Black with the enriched Diablo Red Aluminium Silver decals. So the colours on this are very nice. I've, I've I've criticised Triumph in the past for their colours being a little bit dull. I think they've done a good job on these. They made them look sporty. They've added some colours in there. They're not just bland. They're not just boring. I really like the Triumph logos on the tank as well. Mwah, really nice Triumph. Triumph say the bike is incredible value. It's got 10,000 mile service intervals and that means it's also got the lowest workshop time that any other bike in their range. So the time in the workshop is reduced i.e. your bill is reduced because there's less labour. So it should be cheap to run. So how much is this beautiful little Trident going to set you back? In the UK, this bike is going to cost you £7,195. So it's actually very, very well priced. And if we compare that to the competition, probably the nearest competition to this bike is probably the MT-07. The MT-07 costs 6697 so the Trident is going to be £500 more expensive than an MT-07, but the MT-07 was never, it's not a brilliant handling bike. There's a lot of flex in the chassis. The suspension's not great on it. It's not even got upside down forks on it. So I think the Trident's going to be a much more nimble. Power wise, the, the, the MT-07 is 72 horsepower. So it's less power than the Trident's 80 horsepower, but the MT-07 does have a little bit more torque. It's got 68 Newton meters. The Trident has 64 Newton meters, but the MT-07 is also slightly lighter, 182 kilos wet, where the Trident is 189 kilos wet. So the Trident is up on power, 
slightly heavier but with much 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 better suspension and i would also say fit and finish as well for an extra 500 pounds so i think against the mt07 obviously we've not ridden the bike yet but i think on paper on specs it looks like it's going to really bring it to yamaha i think this bike is going to be a, <laughs> a real good seller for triumph so just to recap headline figures the bike is 80 brake horsepower at 10,250 rpm it's a 660 cc triple it delivers 46 brake horsepower in a2 form and that's at 8,750 rpm it's got 64 newton meters of torque 59 newton meters in a2 form it weighs 189 kilos wet Unfortunately, Triumph haven't given us a dry figure of this bike, which is unusual. They normally measure their bikes dry, but they're given this one wet. 41 millimeter upside down shower forks, non-adjustable, but the rear shock, the rear shower shock is adjustable for preload. A seat height of 805 millimeters and a cost in the UK of 7,195 pounds. So I think a price point which is very, very competitive and only slightly more expensive than the MT-07. I'm excited. <laughs> it's not often I get excited about you know an entry well you know an entry level bike really, but this one I think is going to be something a little bit special. I think Triumph may have pulled it out the hat with this. We will see. We're going to be riding the bike in December. I've been invited to the launch. I may not be able to go. <laughs> Greg might be going to the launch on this one, and then we will do a sit down review where we talk about the bike. So if you've not already subscribed down here, press the button, tick the bell, subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be riding this bike. We're also probably gonna be borrowing it quite early on when it's available in the UK. It's worth mentioning it will be in dealers in the UK at middle of January, Triumph has said. So we should be able to get on this bike, ride it in the UK around January time. I will keep you posted. But thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Thanks guys. I shouldn't poke at you like that, it's a bit rude, isn't it? <laughs> See you later.